Hey guys, Joshua Kadamu here, and it's another episode of Building Gundam Father of Peace. Uh, episode 2. It's hard to keep track of what numbers these are. I mean, like, really, really hard. <laughs> I need to come up with a better system for labeling these so you, they don't all have the same name, but... I can't remember what number this is. Seriously. But, back to the video. This is a new set that I'm building, and uh, it's most of the way built. This will be a set for uh, the good doctor who helped create Razor. And uh, he showed up in Razor's flashback in episode one. Turns out I can't use sticky tack very well on this set because uh, the paint that I used on this comes right off, um, which is kind of sad. Uh, works on everything else, but apparently not this type of plastic. It just scrapes right off, and Sticky Tack takes it right off. Still, it's not a set I'm going to use a whole lot, so I think it'll be fine. Um, you know, this set might be used once or twice, maybe three times tops. And then it will be recycled or gotten rid of, or, you know, recycled means, you know, all the props go elsewhere to be used again someday. <sighs> Basically, uh, at Odessa, this guy has been given a lab to uh, screw around with. And uh, so he does. And Razor will end up reporting back here. But there will be a scene in episode 2 where he'll be trying to contact Razor and he'll be contacting him from this lab. Along with him will be what this is not yet. Focus camera, focus. I will you to focus. Makuve, uh, in the works. It's going to look a little different than Makuve because it'll have that strap still. The green on the boots and gloves isn't right, so I have to redo it. And uh, we're trying to custom sculpt this female uh, Star Wars head to be Makuve. And uh, that's going to be tedious and painful and probably be taking for absolutely ever. But um, basically, yeah, this is the set. couple computers. Big screen, random thing right there, random thing. And most of our shots will probably get filmed from right here. And most of them will come from a downward, from an upward looking down perspective. You know, thus because of the whole nature of the set. This basically was an old suitcase type thing for holding some kind of power tool or something. I did a garage sale for free. And that's been floating around my ever crowded war room for too long and I thought I'm gonna put that thing to use so yeah basically that's the idea I think it'll be a nice set when I get around to filming it um, filming is pretty slow so is editing but uh, I've been building and custom building uh, right here this won't be in Gundam Father of Peace but this is Char Zyong and I'll have a review up for this either already or pretty soon but, uh, normal Xeon? Sure, Xeon. Pretty sweet, if I may say so myself. I enjoy making customs. Well, I hope you enjoyed another short episode of Building Gundam, Gundam Father of Peace. Hopefully for you guys that want to do your own stop motions, this is, uh, helpful or inspiring. And for those of you who just like staying up to date, you know, hopefully it's exciting. Catch you guys later.